Welcome to National Focus. I'm Kimani Senja. In the headlines, close to $700,000 for 13 homes in the Grand Bay constituency. Small business training anticipated to increase accountability of grant funds. And CARICOM hosts public procurement notice board workshop in Dominica. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. When you think about it, food is life. That's why people come to Dominica. They don't only come for the waterfall or the scenery or the view, but it's the flavor. Sometimes it is just what they can taste. The flavors that we have here, you can't find anywhere in the world. They are truly unique. I've been in business 17 years, and I see so many guests come and go. My business is to put a smile on their face and something good in their belly. Everything we serve here is local. It comes from all over Dominica. So we get fresh lettuce or vegetable or fish from saint -Sauveur. All our products from the farm, sometimes go on the farm and help them pick the uniqueness of the experience. It's in how authentic it is. I heard the um, taxi driver promoting my plantain chips. I said, that's the best plantain chips you can ever have. I don't have to go and put it on TV. <laughs> Money is not everything but leaving customer with a smile, friendly service, and they will come back. This is the real Dominica. I'm just proud to be a part of it. My name is Maurice Smith. They call me Rudy. Tourism is my business. Thanks for staying with us. As part of government's continued efforts to eradicate substandard housing through the Housing Revolution Program, contracts amounting near $700,000 have been signed for the beginning of construction of 13 homes in the Grand Bay constituency. Five contractors were awarded the opportunity to build the homes for persons of the communities of Grand Bay and Tetmon who already owned land. At the contract signing ceremony on Monday, the Honorable Member of Parliament for the Grand Bay Constituency and Minister for Constituency Empowerment, Justin Charles, gave particulars of this project. The contracts that we will be signing will all total $679,630.34. So between the two councils, we will be spending that. The Tetmon Council will manage $360,000. $681.46 and that will be for the construction of two single bedroom houses and three double bedroom houses that is in Tetmon. In Grand Bay we will have $318,948.88 and in Grand Bay we will be doing three single houses, single bedroom houses, and five double bedroom houses. Government, through the Ministry of Constituency Empowerment, has invested millions into the construction and renovation of houses across the island, impacting the lives of thousands of Dominicans. One of the recipients who had lost a home through a fire expressed gratitude. On behalf of the beneficiaries and myself, I would like to say a special heart thank, a heartfelt thank you to the Prime Minister and also to Mrs. Mrs. Charles. I am, I mean, I am indeed elated that that we are being blessed with this opportunity of having our own home. Unfortunately, last year my family and I um, we experienced uh, we lost our house through a fire. So the Prime the Power Up stepped up and is assisting us in, a, in this difficult time. Magdalene Joseph, another beneficiary, was also thankful. On behalf of myself, my family, and the other beneficiaries, I would like to thank the Prime Minister, my Power Rep, the Chairman of the Grand Bay Village Council, thanking them very much because it was time that I have a home of my own. There's people used to tell me, ah, so long, what I do in, and they'll give me a house. But things come, good things come to those who wait. And thank you, thank you again. So one day I'll be in my own home. 
In more news, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Commerce, Enterprise and Small Business Development, Esther Thomas, has expressed that through a recent series of trainings, the ministry will more effectively ensure funds being granted to entrepreneurs are being spent wisely. GIS's Prisca Julian has this report. The Ministry of Commerce, Enterprise and Small Business Development has closed the curtains on a series of small business training sessions. The sessions, which were geared at building capacity and preparing entrepreneurs for effectively managing their businesses, were also a prerequisite to ensure that the funds granted to the entrepreneurs will be used for the purposes intended. Addressing the closing ceremony of the final session in St. Joseph last Thursday, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Commerce, Enterprise and Small Business Development, Esther Thomas, says she believes these trainings will increase the likelihood of successful businesses as well as assist the Ministry in improving the process of disbursement of the grant funds. The training is a key element of you receiving those funds. And um, I'm very pleased that he sort of guided you in that proper way so that at least even those of you who may have had an idea and you're not sure if that's what you really wanted to do, and maybe now that you have received the training, you are clearer, like this young gentleman who just testified. He's clearer now what he has to do. So you see the relevance of the training. If he had gone and give him the money without the training, maybe he would have spent the money and the time he turned his back, he have nothing to show. So we want to ensure when the funds are given, after five years, when we come back, we can see you at step two of your ladder. Recently, government implemented a new policy to decentralize assistance to small businesses by using the local authority. Thomas says, however, the ministry will continue to conduct follow-ups with the recipients and expects the local government institutions to enforce accountability. This distribution through the local authority does not exempt the Ministry of Commerce. We still have a role to play in ensuring that these funds are properly utilized. And so that is why we do the training. And not only the training, we will continue to monitor you. When we provide the resources to them, they have a responsibility to provide us with the necessary reports that we will follow up and ensure that the persons who have received the funds are indeed utilizing the funds for what they said they will do. The Permanent Secretary encouraged the entrepreneurs to see themselves as partners with the Ministry. We want to say to you that see yourself as a partner in development of the micro, small, and medium enterprise sector with the Ministry of Commerce, Enterprise, and Small Business Development. As a ministry, not only do we act as a driver pushing economic business development, but we also act as an enabler and a facilitator so that we can strengthen, promote, and develop your business idea, your new business, your existing business into a fantastic business. And so we want to encourage you to avail yourself and take advantage of the opportunities that are available within the Ministry of Commerce, Enterprise and Small Business Development. The series of trainings which were held in various constituencies across the island began in April and ended last week with the 12th and final training in the St. Joseph constituency. Reporting for GIS News, I'm Prisca Julian. Thank you, Prisca. The Caribbean Community CARICOM Secretariat continues its drive towards establishing an integrated CARICOM single market and economy public procurement regime. On Tuesday, the Ministry of Finance, in collaboration with the CARICOM Secretariat, held a training workshop geared at delivering information to the public and the private sectors on the functional electronic community public procurement notice board from a regional construct. Public procurement refers to the process by which public authorities, such as government departments or local authorities, purchase work, goods or services from companies. The Electronic Public Procurement Notice Board will be used for the creation, management and online publication of all procurement notices within CARICOM. 
CARICOM consultant Veronica Benedictelli describes some of the topics to be covered in the workshop. I will be here the whole week uh, working uh, with both public and private sector. I will be together with CARICOM uh, colleagues that are joining me tonight, so they will be here from tomorrow, presenting you this community public procurement reform, which should be approved before the end of the year. We will be talking about the legal framework, about the practical aspects, the standard forms, the public procurement notice board, which is a website where all the public procurement opportunities will be published and be visible for the bidders of the whole community. Director of Trade Math and Walter said that the workshop is proof of Dominica's willingness to build capacity and allow access to beneficial entrance market opportunities together with CARICA member states. Over the past few years, the Ministry of Trade, Energy and Employment has been working collaboratively with the Ministry of Finance and attending technical working group meetings which were geared at bringing life to Article 239 of the Revised Treaty of Chagaramas and in so doing, undertake to elaborate a protocol related to government procurement. Today is a clear indication that we have continued as a region to honor obligations reflected in our trade arrangements. Today, we begin to build the capacity, to, the capacity necessary to allow us to benefit from embracing market access opportunities and engage in procurement, procurement activities in our sister member states of CARICOM. The Director of Trade stated that after years of work, including Dominica's concerns being reflected in the final document, the 43rd meeting of the Council for Trade and Economic Development in November 2016 approved the draft public procurement protocol for adoption. Matters of keen interest to member states, such as the definition of the CARICOM supplier, the role of the CCJ in dispute settlement, thresholds, transparency, MSMEs, and withdrawals were dealt with appropriately and in keeping with comments and articulations from member states. We now have a document which can guide our regional procurement-related activities. He assured local and regional contractors that all matters of concern have been brought to the attention of the CARICOM Secretariat and have been considered in the negotiation process and reflected in the procurement document. As we engage regional integration and togetherness, our mindset requires change. We need to look at glasses as half-filled rather than half-empty. So where procurement activities are concerned, we need to see before us a huge market of endless opportunities. We then need to identify the areas where we have advantages, improve on them, and then fearlessly participate in the procurement process. I strongly recommend this as the way forward. We have to move the tides, we have to move the times. Forward thinking and resoluteness in action should be our mantra. You're watching National Focus more when we return. I believe in the natural order of things. I believe in the, in the harmony of things. You know, in everything we do, we have to keep it natural. I've been doing farming for now over a decade. My day is very hectic, but I make it light. You know, because I enjoy what I do. I enjoy producing the best quality goods and to make sure that the people that receive it, they receive the best that they can ever get. Right from the farm, everything that I grow, I process them back into the farm so that the same things that grow in the farm is what protects the farm. Tourism is my business. You know, it's not just dealing with the foreigners that come in, but it's preparing those things that when they come, they can feel and taste the difference in coming to this exotic island. And it starts with the farmer, because we provide the things that they eat, that they taste, that they drink. I believe in my heart that it's my responsibility to provide quality. My name is Tony Alves, and tourism is my business. Welcome back. Director of Trade Math and Water is urging farmers and exporters alike 
to make use of the opportunities available for trade within the United States. Walter speaking at a seminar on the U.S. import regulation for fresh fruits and vegetables last Friday, described some of the measures put in place by government to assist farmers. The government of Dominica has endeavored at this very moment to put in place all the infrastructure that is required. The Fresh Produce Act has been passed and is being enforced. The pack houses in Roseau and Portsmouth are established. Farm certification programs are in place. And I am personally aware of the hard work being done by the Dominica Bureau of Standards to ensure that we meet those standards. We need to change our mindsets. We need to elevate our consciousness and work with the government to enter those markets and to engage frontally the opportunities that are present therein. And finally, this news time, 73 pupils have moved along to the next step in their lives as they graduated from the Dominica Grammar School under the theme, You are not a product of your circumstances, you are a product of decisions. Shakira Pe has more. On Monday, family, friends, and well-wishers gathered at the Arrow House of Culture to witness the students bid farewell to the institution which groomed them for the future. Honorable Minister for Education, Peter Seja, says government continues to place emphasis on education and create avenues for all students to achieve. The government of Dominica has sought to address the challenges that confront every student by ensuring that you are given a support system that would ensure success at the high school level and further afield. With such a support system, I am convinced that if you are motivated and ambitious enough, cultural circumstances, including age, gender, and family background should not serve as an obstacle, but rather as a catalyst for you to achieve. Featured speaker at the event, Alvin Knight, a past student of the Dominica Grammar School, told the students to be mindful of the decisions which they make, as these decisions may determine how successful they are by achieving their goals. Fellas, if you decide to walk the streets exposing your boxes and a potential employer sees you and decide he does not want an ex-con in his establishment that was your choice not the circumstance and you ladies if you decide to walk the streets exposing parts of your body that should only be seen in your bedroom or perhaps on the beach I'm sure that the mother's clapping, you know. Yeah. Mothers, you can clap. But your children leave the house dressed that way. So it is your decision, your choice, to have your children walk about the streets that way. Valedictorian Caleb Tusa shared these words with his fellow classmates. We will be going out into the world, each of us on different paths, following different dreams. May you have every success. May you work hard and play straight. May, your head, may you hold your head high and may our paths still cross from time to time. And may you go with all your heart. Three students graduated with honors, one with distinction and ten with merit. For GIS News, Shakira Peer reporting. And that's the English segment of the news that Shakira Pierre will also give you curl highlights. Bienvenue à ce nouvel accueil, non, moi c'est Shakira Pierre. Constituency Grabe, ka benefits hot major to avai shime. Des mois qui passe, plus qui yon million dollars te alloke pour to avai shime a constituency sala. Epilaja sala si shime epi de dal te fet. Pada yoto an constituency la leni mam palema pou constituency guabe honorable Justina Charles, pa deta e kon koma to avai la te ka ale asu shime peri kwa. Nous presque fini, qu'on veut travailler là, qui est de nous sentir, moi, ça pour finir. 
Um, nous pouvons finir, et bien, mon content nous finit avant Hurricane Season, hein, où là, nous engage pour plus qui doit être les six contracteurs en les six chimènes hein, pour faire 10 morceaux, chaque monde tape un 10 morceaux pour faire. Et avec ces chimènes, c'est là que nous devons faire un mouvement plus aisé en commun. Hein. Um, nous savons que nous avons des gens qui passent à marcher, les transports ne peuvent pas venir, les ambulances ne peuvent pas venir, les achats. Donc, avec ce chemin, ça, il fait aisé pour l'ambulance um, um, aller à Bokaïla. Si vous sortez de vous faites une commission, vous avez une chance de vous faire. Nous savons que ça tombe aisé parce que le chemin est là avant, vous n'avez pas pu vous faire pied, vous allez vous faire parce que le chemin est mauvais. So, mon content at least chimen la ka fèt pou pou wanje la vi manye moun ka viv an da se various ve a uh, uh, komin nan. Yo lo chimen ki pwe ka e mari baron te rehabilite. Baron, we mesye gouvelman pou travay la yo ka fè an gwan bi. Mon ka we mesye pey ministan mon bon matin an midi an sa. Ma ka ni we mesye di thank you pirate no. Toy to pey ministan no. Mon ka we mesye ve la pouye. Pray, I praying for him. Honorable Charles D. I can continue to travail web to be developed. Mon con parle rap guabé, mon que continuer faire tout toi va y m'ont supposé faire pour mettre je m'en sers dress as much as possible toutes ces complaints là, et ben toutes ces 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 issues là nous n'y en constituent rien, mais comme on toujours qu'à des mondes nous passe à faire tout un seul coup, c'est petit en petit, nous que font moins sur l'autre coup, nous que font l'autre côté, juste en nous qu'à où nous ça ouais improvement en guabé. Mais celle ça mon connais mandé c'est pour Jean Gwambé même vini et veut faire gouvernement ça fait en plaisir travail ba mais ou même la nion travail ou même ça fait pour faire commune en mer côté pour nous vivre et pour nous ça move en dedans so mon bien content at least nous ka wè finissement travail là en 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 less than 3 months nous ka wè finissement toutes ces chemins là en en constituency Gwambé et veut comprendre ministre la jadi avant nan la bout nous les wè toutes ces chemins là fini I don't know the permanent secretary and ministry of business Esther Thomas the training minister la Kachen ke encourage moun ki ni piti business pou servi la ja la bien. Training la se pou edike se moun la kon kouman pou servi la ja la et pi pou fè setan ki la ja la gouvernement ba se moun business la yo servi pou sa yo ba yo pou. Thomas se ka pale pandan yo ceremony pou fè me training pou piti business. Yo si di, 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 Et puis finalement, le gouvernement met près de 700 000 dollars à Village Kong sur Gwabe et puis tout le monde pour bâtir 13 à 9 à la communauté Sala. En tout le monde, c'est le contracteur qui a bâti 2 cailles qui n'ont pas de chambre dormi et puis 3 cailles qui n'ont pas de chambre dormi. 3 cailles n'ont pas de chambre dormi et puis 5 cailles de chambre dormi qui ont bâti en Gwabe. C'est Village Kong sur qui a implémenté le projet là. Honorable Charles, we must say council la pou manye la yo ka twavay epi pou fe proje la an se komunite sa la yo priorite. Jane Thomas se yon ki ke benefis hot program kay la. Il fait mon bien, satisfait pour accepter ça, la première ministre Dominique qui a fait pour moi. Elle veut aller en parlementaire représentatif pour constituer si bon bien, Madame Justina Charles, et puis M. Edward Regis qui met council la yon si, so mon men, c'est pour moi, Bon, non, ça, on pas que ça, depuis mon carton, c'est bien, c'est ça, la fête. Eh bien, mon carton, le gouvernement a fait un bide, c'est parce que la situation, moi, à moi, est bien mauvaise. Sur mon carton, oui, merci, bon Dieu, mon carton, merci, gouvernement Dominique, avec Konsul Gouambé, pour qu'on fasse un bon bide, c'est pour une démo, en capacité, moi, avec Kazmo, en conseiller sur mon carton, merci, bon Dieu. Il y a une cérémonie qui est pour place à la communauté Centre Gouambé pour signer le contrat pour le commencement, c'est qu'il y a ça, là. Ça, c'est tout pour Nouvelle Acréole, non, moi, c'est Shakira Pierre. Au revoir. Coming up next, your disaster preparedness tip of the day. We often hear about having a family disaster preparedness plan in times of storms, hurricanes, or other natural disasters. Here are three steps to help you develop this plan. 
one with your family or household members discuss how to prepare and respond to the types of emergencies that are most likely to happen where you live learn work and play number two identify responsibilities for each member of your household and how you will work together as a team and three Practice as many elements of your plan as possible. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website, news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica and follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. Live streaming is also available on our YouTube channel 24 hours a day. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Kimani Seja. Thank you for watching.